Hey everyone, I am back again with after Thanksgiving. I did some habitat restore shopping today on Black Friday, avoiding Walmart and Target. I didn't even go there because I knew, even though I should have, just to watch the fights. <laughs> I'm kidding. But anyway, I, I spent most of my time going around restores seeing what they had for fans since I had the time today to do it. So. So this, I picked up a CEC Georgian from the West Bend Habitat. It's a nice shape. It's a cute little fan. I've seen these as a child myself, especially in people's small kitchens and such. You know, I'd see these in occasional stores, old little shops, so... Some with light kits, some without, but uh, this one, light kit was included. And I'm going to show the light first. I have it set just to do the light. And it draws 0.6, and I know the motor is uh, rated 0.38 amps, so I'm going to test that next. Let me just uh, turn off the lights here. Gives off a lot of light. I like to have a look at it, see what it does. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. And... Light off. I need low. Okay. All right. So here's low, and it draws point one seven. This is factory low, we're going to do the factory speeds. Okay, I'm going to let it speed up, because I know these 36-inch uh, fans tend to have a faster low speed to compensate for its size, so... So well, yeah, that's exactly the kind of low speed I'd expect, expect it to have. All right, I'm gonna go and uh, bring it to medium. Here's medium with uh, 0.21. Let's just see what it feels underneath the fan. much of a breeze. I'm feeling something, but... Alright, well, why don't I bring it to high? Oh yeah! I'm feeling something. It's still kind of gentle, but nonetheless. I mean... I can do an airflow test, you know, distant wise, but I don't think you're going to feel much. I usually go about here. Ah, not a fan I would really use in this room. So, all right. Let's do, and it's, oh yeah, by the way, on high, it draws 0.33 amps, so I know that's what it draws on high. It's rated at 0.38 amps, so I'm pretty close. But well, here's spin down. I'm going to do reverse now. Okay, as soon as it's done spinning down, we're doing uh, reverse factory speeds. Oh, 
Okay. Um, let's, let's here's a uh, reverse low. Same, basically the same drawing. It's flapping between 0.18 and 0.17. But other than that. Yep, I just, it's steadied out to uh, 0.17. Okay, here's, here's a uh, reverse medium. And there again, I get 0.21. Basically the same. Same drawing, same current. Here's a high reverse. <clears throat> and high, I get a little slightly less draw with 0 0.31 instead of 0 0.33. So a little bit of a difference there. All right, I'm gonna flip it back and we'll do a decade box. Okay. All right. Let's just see uh, where it starts. All right. One. Two. Nothing. Three. Okay, it starts on three. And it draws point 0.11, so point 0.11. I give it a little bit. It's not bad. Most do start on three, by the way. I've had some to start on two, but this one starts on three. Okay, four with 0.15. Okay, I'm gonna let it speed up, cause, cause I'm right now I'm almost at factory low with 0.15. Well, let's do five. I'm right on the money with factory low, 0.17 on five microfarads. So I'm guessing, I'm gonna see, I don't think I'm gonna be using an 8.12.20 on this, but I can use a, a 5.8.13. 4.7.11 might do just fine. Well, we'll see when I get higher. Okay, six is 0.2, already close to factory medium, so. Here's seven with 0.22, flopping between 0.21, so still in that range of factory medium. Practically right on the money here on seven. Eight, point, 0.23 on eight, so this would be too fast for a 8.12.20 low speed on an 8.12.20 wall control. Nine with 0.24, here's 10. 0.25, here's 11 with 0.27, 12, 0 0.27, 13.28. Yeah, you, if I were to use a four speed, I'm a little under, let me just flip it, do high. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could still do uh, 5, 8, 13, because I'm drawing 0.28 amps. And if I did that, I could actually have it where it's just backed off of high, get typical factory speeds, low, medium, and then something between medium and high, that would work. Here is uh, 14 with 0.28, 15, 0.29, 16, still 0.29. It's starting to level off, so I'm at 17 with 0 0.29, 18, 0 0.3, 19, 0 0.3, 20. I'm right at 0.3. I'm, all, I'm shy of uh, 0.33. So, since it's, so any wall control up to an 8.12.20 is safe for it, you're not gonna go over, but it's a little bit useless on this little fan, so. 
I'm just gonna go up to 25, 30, I'm at 0 0.31 on 30. 35 with point, point 0.32, trying to see if I can go over. Nope! I have maxed out the capacitor system on this rig with point 0.32 amps. I could hit high, get point 0.33 on high, but turned back off and I got, got point 0.32 at 40 microfarads, so no resonant frequency. I keep thinking a little fan like this would do so, hit a resonant frequency, but this one did not, so it's definitely, um, it's a good fan. And now, I'm going to do, I'm going to try the solid state. Let's see how it reacts on the solid state. See if it's noisy, quiet, inching it up. Okay. 0.13, got it to start. Okay, I'm going to inch it up a little more. 0.16, let's just uh, go up to it. So far. I can't even hear, I hear like a very faint hum, a little buzz hum, but I can't even hear it. I can't hear it right where I'm at. I went up to the fan and I could just begin to hear it. Usually I go for like a low medium is where I'll hear it the most. Where it's 0 0.9, 0 0.19, I mean. 0.21. So I'm right at factory medium. Yeah, it's really quiet. It's this is a really good fan. I mean, they're they're tiny fans. They're it's a little 36 inch. This is like small room type fan. Right at 0 0.25, 0 0.27, 0 0.32. And here's solid state high, and I'm drawing 0.32 on the solid state. So, that's, so it definitely uh, behaves nicely on every test I gave it. The only, the only thing with an 81220 is 81220, uh, Capacitor wall control is just uh, would be too fast on low and high medium is just too close to high so just useless speeds. Now last test is zero to high. I'm going to watch the inrush current, see what it draws. 0.37 is the highest I saw and it quickly dropped to 0.34 and as it speeds up it should drop to 0.33 which it just did. All right. That is all I have for this little CEC Georgian, and um, I'm very likely I'll I'll probably sell it to a collector. I don't know that I would really keep this, so I'm I'll put it up for sale and trade. Of course, I'm always open to trade with something that I'm willing to part. So, all right. Uh, that, but other than that, that is all I have for the CEC Georgian. And I'll see you next time with my next fan. Thanks for watching.